Hello everybody! Well, it's finally happened. I finally posted another one of my costume blogs after two years of waiting. Now, that's been for various reasons. Uh, I'm not going to go into them right now. Uh, I suppose mostly just laziness and lack of momentum. But uh, what I'm really here to talk about is finally the conclusion to my Doctor Girlfriend costume. you uh, probably seen the making of already. If you haven't, the link to that video is in the description. If you're watching this in a playlist on my channel, it will either be the next video or the most recent, the previous video that you've watched. So what do I think of this costume? Well, of course, uh, making it seemed to put me off a project which I had a lot of enthusiasm for, but it wasn't really like that at all. It was just that the situation of my life changed around that time. Uh, I was self-employed, didn't really have very much money or time to devote to this, and lots lots has changed since then, so hopefully we're, we're back on track with uh, making costumes. Maybe not making a costume every month, as I'd originally thought, but... Uh, back on track with making costumes. Definitely. So what about the costume itself? Well, there are lots of positive things that came out of it. Obviously, I think the colour was really good. I was actually quite pleased with uh, my technical sewing in there, but there were still some problems, and I'm going to go through them because I think it's more important to focus on where you went wrong so that you can learn from your mistakes. Firstly, the neckline is all wrong. Uh, Dr. Girlfriend's costume in The Venture Brothers has a very distinctive, almost sort of turtleneck, very close-fitting uh, uh, collar. And I tried looking everywhere. I tried looking in every shop, on every website I could think of. Nothing even came close. Uh, eventually, I think I found uh, this Vogue pattern. Have a look at it there with that particular collar. You can see it's, it's quite a nice collar. And it, I, at that point, I was thinking time was getting on, and at least it goes round the neck. I don't really like having things round my neck very much. So. Uh, that was maybe that factored into the decision at the time, but I could find it, and I thought uh, you'll see that it's it's actually a coat pattern, and I've actually extended it uh, when I cut the pieces. I I cut an extra sort of foot or so uh, in order to make it into a dress rather than a coat. And uh, the irony is, a couple of months ago, a friend of mine was clearing out her uh, fabric and sewing stuff. She'd done some cosplay uh, a few years ago. And this pattern from New Look came in, and you look there, look there, that's perfect. That's the absolute, you know, it couldn't have got better. So yeah, if I ever choose to make this again, I probably won't. Uh, but if I ever choose to make a more accurate Dr. Girlfriend costume, this will be the pattern. So uh, I'll probably put a note in the description if anybody is thinking of uh, cosplaying Dr. Girlfriend, because that's probably the one to get hold of if you can. So the next point, and I honestly can't remember why this happened, because as I say, it was quite a while ago that I actually finished the costume. I think I ended up making it a size too small. So I think I was maybe aiming for a 12 to 14 and uh, maybe sort of a went down into the 10 to 12 bracket and for the most part didn't really matter as long as I sucked my tummy in. But the real problem was here on the sleeves. Now that you probably can't see it because um, looking at the costume it doesn't look too bad. Those are really tight sleeves, even for my skinny little arms, and being pinched under the armpits is not a pleasant place to be pinched at all. So, uh, so yes, that was a bit uncomfortable. And because I made it so small, and because I sort of turned it into a dress, the pockets, in addition, didn't really work. Oh, wait a second, I've just got to stop uh, one of my rabbits destroying something. Back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. I managed to stop them destroying some very nice paper. Um, okay then, so uh, the pockets. Yes, because I made it very form-fitting, you'll notice that there are pockets here, but they're weirdly in the wrong place, where they should be down here. Let's bring that in. They should be kind of down here. They're actually kind of shoved round the back. Um, and this one too. And they're not really, because the, the whole thing is asymmetrical, because this bit comes over. Um, 
so one of the pockets is kind of at the side and one is almost kind of round at the back and they really spoil the lines of the costume. You'll probably be able to see it in some of the photos that they kind of just ruck it up and what's supposed to be a really good um, form-fitting costume that's that's a problem so I think if I made it again I, I would leave out the pockets they're too small to fit anything in anyway. I probably could have done a better job with is the hat. Now it's quite sweet and it's quite fun. I'll, I'll get it out for you. Yeah, it's, it kind of looks a bit wonky. I pretty much made it up. I didn't know what I was doing. So I think considering that it turned out okay, uh, from a distance you can't see how wonky it is. But you'll notice I've put it, it attaches to the head via these four hair clips. You can see it there. Now I think I probably really should have put it on like a thin Alice band or something, like a, like a metal band so it could have hidden under the hair. It really easily falls off and when I was doing the photo shoot with um, a good friend Ollie Cambray over at Cambray Photo, uh, he is definitely in the description, you better look at his website, he's excellent at uh, cosplay photography, but it was a really windy day and it was kind of blowing down the side of my head didn't really look so good and I think just something like an Alice band really would have uh, uh, sorted that one out so yeah uh, something to bear in mind when I do hats and other things in the future. Ultimately I give this costume uh, I think a solid uh, 6 out of 10? Yes a 6. I mean all the rest of the other parts of the costume I bought. So I bought the gloves, the earrings, uh, the, the vinyl knee boots. As I say I didn't really have very much money at the time and I don't know how I managed to justify to myself buying a pair of vinyl knee boots but then someone who doesn't want to own a pair of white vinyl knee boots yeah, there's probably something wrong with them. So I bought pretty much all of the rest of the costume so the uh, the dress and the hat are the only things I can judge myself on. Uh, so yeah I think I think a six. There were lots of problems with it, but it was quite a difficult sewing challenge, so the fact that I managed to get through and make something half decent, I'm very pleased with. So, uh, so yeah, we'll call it a six. And that's pretty much it for the conclusion. Uh, I do hope you'll stick around to see more. I'm going to be doing several more costumes. I'm not going to be doing any more intro videos. I think that was just uh, overkill. It was kind of pointless. So I'll be going straight to the next making of uh, yeah, I hope you'll stick around, uh, read my blog, follow me on Twitter, uh, I do also have a Tumblr and a DeviantArt there, links are all uh, below in the description, or wherever YouTube has decided to put it now. Um, thanks for watching this video, uh, yeah, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!